Alright guys, so I am going to start doing a tier list or kind of like a ranking of all the support type character. So I do want to quickly throw out like a honorable mention because of the 9 support type character, there are going to be 3 that we will not be ranking. First of all, we have the hypogen character or the typing, we have uh, Rainier. So Rainier is just too good of a character and I feel like as a, if we are starting at the game day 1, Rainier is going to be a character that you will not be able to access immediately. Therefore, I feel like it's kind of uh, not really needed to talk about because Rainier, if you guys just want to know, uh, this character is going to be the best support type character in every uh, functions of the game. Whether you're talking about early game, mid game, end game, any other content in general, this is going to be a character that if you guys do truly want a you know quote unquote good support type character, Rainier is definitely going to be a character you would like to get. Uh, the other honorable mention, we definitely do have Fade. So she is actually a character that you can pull and you are able to get a copy just by completing a few of the uh, beginning story missions. But uh, I feel like in terms of what she's able to do because of her overall stat and then just her healing capability is not that high. So uh, ultimately she is just going to be sacred team and you will not be using her at all. And then last but not least we have Hemi. So same thing as Faye. So Hemi is more like a early on like once like day one when you're starting out the game before summoning. Uh, this is going to be a character to kind of fill it in the team. But once you are able to accumulate more character, uh, Hemi, Faye, those characters are just going to be out of your roster because you are able to get better um, you know, like barriers, you know, units to use besides those two. All right, so starting out at number six, we have uh, Nero. So I think Nero is actually not really, really bad of a, of a support type character. In the ultimate, there's actually a pretty good feature that you are able to revive a down enemy. So that's actually pretty cool because the revive character actually inherit 45% of his original max HP. And then upon leveling up up to level five, we are able to gain more HP upon revival and then deal more of the original damage. So is there is still a, a damage cap as far as how much damage you are able to do after you revive, but uh, that definitely does get better once you have this character level up. And then this character also does have the ability to restore uh, the lowest LS HP, so that's also going to be a good thing. But uh, in terms of the negative or the cons of this unit, this unit is not just not that great in excelling in harder content because there isn't a whole lot of utility that will offer as a support. And this unit on, or this character only is able to heal one ally, so that's definitely not good enough for future content. So that's why this character is gonna be, gonna be coming in at number six. Coming in at number 5, we have Damien. So Damien is a character that is able to bring some utility to the table. One of the strongest features is that Damien is able to build something called a Torchalet that can heal one single target or one singular ally within 3 tower range. And after healing, Damien for whatever reason wants to ramp his newly built toys into the enemy and explode to deal damage and also blinding the surrounding enemy. So in that aspect, it's actually pretty cool feature, but I believe the standing is actually, or the blinding aspect is only a few seconds, so uh, at most it probably won't be effective. At a uh, higher investment, Damien is also able to provide haste to ally within two tiles, so haste is obviously pretty important because haste does allow your ally to hit faster, so that's actually pretty good. But unfortunately, Damien is a character that only is only able to heal one single target. So compared to the rest of the list, uh, Damien is obviously not going to be impressive. And the fact that Damien just kind of does have a really slow charge rate. So in terms of getting the next toy shell up, uh, it's going to be a really big struggle for Damien, making it not a reliable healer. Coming in at number four, we have Coco. So Coco is obviously more than just a healer. Uh, she is able to provide damage mitigation, life drain, and also attack moves via her ultimate. So making that a very, very powerful ultimate, especially uh, coming from a A, uh, a level character. Her other skill makes enemy take more damage and stun adjacent target. So that's actually a pretty nifty debuff that she has going on. 
And then best of life, she's also able to give ally shield when she activates her ultimate. If you do have this character at a higher investment, specifically, we are talking about the Mystic Plus level. So that is actually pretty good. Uh, she does have a, a lot going on. So I was not really expecting that from a AA level character, but uh, unfortunately, Coco does have uh, a problem. Uh, she is uh, pretty much uh, energy heavy, and then she does have a really slow time building up that energy bar. So as far as trying to pop that EX here or the ultimate, trying to you know provide support to your ally, that is going to be a problem. So ultimately, that does become her downfall because she's just not able to uh, consistently provide what she's able to do. At number three, we have Rowan. So Rowan is a character that is able to provide energy to allies when activating EX skill which makes him a very very good pairing to characters that needs help in building up their ultimate so Cecilia or Celia is a character that I feel like if you pair up with Rowan is actually going to make her a lot more better because uh, in terms of Celia ultimate does actually summon a extra character so if you are able to do that uh, with Rowan support you are able to effectively kind of disrupt the enemy lineup so in, in that regards it's actually a really good pairing. Rowan can summon a smart star that stores two healing potion and ally can use them once they fall below 50% HP. Rowan can further strengthen as a healing capability once you reach the legendary plus and then also increase haste when you have it at mystic plus making it a very very versatile character. Unfortunately Rowan does suffer what the other support type character are suffering is the fact that it is only healing one target at at the most uh, even though the potion could be very very vital to the kid uh, it's definitely going to be overshadowed by enemy attack and then sustainability is definitely going to be a issue at the long run coming in at number two we have Smokey so Smokey is a great character that I have been using throughout um, I was able to you know just formulate a good molly team that I do enjoy using but uh, in terms of what Smokey is able to do the overall kit pretty much revolves around something called the special aroma so whatever allies are within the special aroma allies can First, first and foremost, heal, gain, increase haste, and also attack as well. So pretty much a three-in-one package if uh, Smokey is able to offer that special aroma. And then with higher investment, Smokey can also debuff, which lowers the enemy max HP. So that is also a very nice debuff to have. Uh, although we do see a lot of really great utility from Smokey, there are obviously some downsides factor to it. So Smokey is a character that kind of centers around the back line. So in terms of your frontline units or your frontline characters that loves to be in the front like your tanks or a character that has a minimum range of one or two, they're not going to get healed. So the survivability for those characters are definitely going to be out of the question. And then if Smokey is affected by let's say enemies that control effects, then the special aroma does get lost. So in terms of you know the overall team composition at that point in time, it's definitely going to be in the shamble because uh, Smokey is just not going to be able to offer anything without that special aroma. So do definitely do be careful in terms of how you want to place Smokey. Definitely do place it away from character that you know can deal those control effects. All right, now coming in at number one, we have Heiwen. So Heiwen is arguably one of the best support type character in game because of her superior healing capability. So pretty much what Heiwen does is just healing and healing and healing. Heiwen's two regular skills can consistently keep allies healed and her ultimate is a unrestricted AOE heal that can cover pretty much the entire map. So every ally is gonna get healed from the ultimate making her a very very versatile healer. With some investment she can also provide damage mitigation and then gain an affected status for 6 seconds. Speaking of uh, self sustain on herself right, uh, not being able to get affected which means your allies can get healed no, no matter what so that's actually pretty good. And are there any downsides to Heiwen? Uh, I would arguably say no. You can say that her only downside is the, this is the fact that she's not able to offer what the other character is able to do, like some really niche effects that could probably be good. Uh, but I think if, if she is able to consistently heal, being the best support like in terms of healing capability, um, I think that is definitely good enough. But 
Uh, other than that, that's gonna be my ranking, or you can say the tier list for the support type character. Uh, in the following videos, I will be doing this kind of format for the other character as well, so stay tuned for those. But other than that, that's gonna be pretty much it, and I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.